whenever I think about <laughs> about where I came from, it it just makes me it, it makes me happy and sad all at the same time. I had just had a four month old child and I found myself at 198 pounds. I'd never been that heavy, but I didn't know how to get it off. I mean, I just, I didn't know what to do. It just, the weight just was there and it wouldn't go anywhere. And I found myself alone with a small child and very depressed. And just my life just seemed like it was going in a downward spiral, like just out of control, going nowhere. I just had no self-esteem. I, you know, I just, I didn't feel like a, a, a real person because I didn't want to go out in public and I didn't want to be around people. And I couldn't go out with my young friends who went out to clubs and wore all cute clothing. I couldn't do that. I mean, looking in the mirror and not even knowing who that person looking back at you is, it was, it was depressing. I mean, that's the most honest thing I can say. It was just depressing because it just robs you of who you really are because you can't get past this chunk here and this slab here and you know it's every moment you know every time I'm walking somewhere I'm thinking somebody's looking and pointing and laughing at me or every time I go somewhere I'm thinking you know I feel just so uncomfortable and just being uncomfortable in your own skin 24 hours a day is just it's maddening it's maddening since high school I had an eating disorder and I've been bulimic and I think the only time that I was able to stop it is when I was pregnant with my son and I knew I had to. So whenever I felt, you know, like I was losing control, that was my way of getting control. And it just, you just eat because you were depressed and eat and eat. And then I go and to the bathroom and be gone and I'd be more depressed than I was before and at the same place, the weight didn't come off. And I was never able to kick that habit and I was just like, I have to get rid of this because I'm going to kill myself if I don't find something that actually works and that's going to help me get control of my situation. I'm going to die and I have a child and I can't, I can't do that. I, I need to find a healthier way to lose this weight and to keep it off and to get, and to be happy with myself. With the programs, I went from 198 to 125, losing over 70 pounds. I have gotten definition that I have never had, even in high school. My goal was to get to a 7-8, and I'm now in a 3-4. You can be thin if you want to be thin. You can be toned if you want to be toned. It's not about your bone size or the way your mom was built or the way your dad was built. It's all about you. If you want a leaner, newer, happier, healthier, fitter you, then all you gotta do is do it. You work out. It shouldn't be as simple as 45 minutes out of your day, but it really is that simple. You know, I try to be modest because I'm a mommy and I, I, you know, I think mommies aren't supposed to be hot, but sometimes I have to say, you know, I have a four year old and I'm hot, so. <laughs> I've definitely lost the pounds. I've definitely lost the inches. I've definitely gained the self-esteem, the confidence, the, the self-assured. Like, I never walk with my head down anymore. I'm like, look out world, here I come. Cause it's not that I'm not ready for them. I don't think the world is ready for me. <laughs> I think they are so not prepared for the new me. The happier me, the more assertive me. I'm not depressed anymore. I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not a coward anymore. I'm so strong and not like because I got my biceps here. <laughs> I'm strong because I can do anything. I can accomplish anything because I'm in control of me. I'm in control of my life. And when you take control over something like your weight where you feel like you have no control over it, when you take control over that and you hold the reins and you drive the car, it's like you can do anything after that point because if you can do that, you can do anything.